than the original, Dr. Sam Beckett, a talented physicist, was struggling to save the time travel technology that the government had been paying for him to develop while having little to show for it. Beckett uses the technology on himself to demonstrate his theory and rescue the Enterprise with stunning but unfavorable outcomes. Beckett can fling himself about the space-time continuum, but with each jump, he enters the consciousness of a different individual who is dealing with a relevant problem. After helping his most recent protagonist with his solutions, he leaps once more, hoping to land in his own timeline this time. The sci-fi drama Quantum Leap on NBC is a remake of the same named 1989 television series. This adaptation of the tale is changed for a modern audience while maintaining the basic premise of a scientist traveling back and forth in time. The opening episode introduces us to the main characters and lays the foundation for the secrets that will shape the season's plot. The 2022 Quantum Leap carves a place for itself and proves to be a fascinating watch with a few nods to the key characters of the original series. Before I start please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Major spoilers ahead if you have not watched episode 1 yet. Dr. Sam Beckett was unable to return home in 1995 due to his time travel. The project was briefly put on hold, but it is again back in operation. The goal is to make the jump less dangerous so that the time traveler can return home unharmed. Ben Song and his group have been attempting to perfect the device for this. Everything had been going according to plan until Ben received a message one night and that too, while he was engaged. Instead of discussing it with his colleagues, he travels back in time and lands on July 13, 1985. Memory loss is one of the time travel quirks that Ben's team sought to solve. Even though they tend to resurface in fragments, time travelers who go back in time forget everything about their prior existence. Ben doesn't realize that he has time traveled until he wakes up in the body of another guy who is a getaway driver for a gang that has stolen a terrifying amount of C4. He forgets that Addison is his girlfriend and a co-worker, so a hologram of her appears to assist him in returning home. Technically, if he aids the person whose body he is currently in, he should travel back in time. However, he soon realizes that more than one person requires his assistance. Ben Song wakes up within the body of Matt on July 13, 1985. Nick is the alias of an undercover police officer. He snuck into a group that was going to steal the Hope Diamond. Their strategy involves using C4 to set off an explosion that will cause a distraction, allowing them to steal the diamond without endangering anyone. Ben is aware that only one individual, Brian, perishes that evening. Before Ben went back in time, Matt, acting as Nick, persuaded Brian to endorse him to the crew and include him in the theft. The undercover cop attempted to thwart the heist, but something went wrong, resulting in Brian being shot. Because of his remorse, Matt was unable to heal and submitted his resignation. Ben must now alter both of their destinies. As it turns out, Brian is undertaking this crime to save his family, helping Brian takes priority over halting the theft of the Hope Diamond. His wife is ill, and it will cost a lot of money to treat her. The bank has foreclosed on his restaurant, and no one can stop this financial catastrophe from destroying his life. While Ben is aware that his acts are unlikely to have any impact on Brian's life, he consoles himself with the knowledge that Brian won't actually die as a result of his activities. So, even though the team pulls off their heist, Ben manages to save Brian just in time. Ben's actions have an impact on Brian's life because they prevent Brian's death. The gang had intended to keep the security personnel at a distance while stealing the diamond, but Ben's interference freed them. As a result, the crew is eventually apprehended and the diamond is found. Brian strikes a deal with the police and is let off the hook in exchange for his assistance in getting rid of the C4. People show up to assist him and raise the money he needs to save his family when word of his story spreads. Ben's goal in this universe is accomplished after saving Brian, and he begins to leap again. Ben's return is being planned for by Addison and the crew at home, but something goes wrong. No one else was aware that Ben had changed the system's coding before he left his original timeline. Although the meaning of the code is not yet known, it is obvious that Ben had not intended to come back so quickly. He time-leaped with a specific strategy in mind, one that also concerns Al Calavici's daughter. The team has no choice but to wait for Ben's plan to be revealed as Ziggy, the AI, tries to decipher the code. Ben is shown in the closing scene boarding the Atlantis space shuttle and beginning his journey. On October 3, 1985, the Atlantis set sail for the first time in real life. 
it makes likely that Ben has jumped to a few months in the future as this is pretty close to his prior time travel. He might not have been able to reach his own time frame because of the coding fault, which would have greatly limited his leaps. However, the Atlantis completed 33 sorties before being decommissioned in 2011. This gives Ben the option of extending his leap by at least a few years, but it is more likely that he would like to remain close to 1985, presuming he understood where he was going when he left 2022.